If you have been with us, we have many teachings when we read the Apostles' Creed. But we say, for example, we believe in the Catholic Church. What does that mean? In the universal church where the head is Christ and we are his body. We're the bride. But here is when it gets special if you know a little bit about Armenian history. Do you want to know that? Have you ever heard of the name Datevos Tavius? Do you remember who took Christianity to Armenia? Did you know that we have more than enough proof to say that when we say Tavius, we're talking about Jude? Did you know that? I think we should appreciate him a little bit more than others. It, we have enough proof to say that it was Jude who wrote an entire letter, expressed his faith to a group of Jewish Christians under the Roman Empire who were in the Asian region, now known as Turkey, but we know. I think it, it really gives me an extra uh, appreciation for Jude and writing such powerful letter who touched a nation. Perhaps it is us that we realize that we're called, sanctified and preserved for a glorious day. So having all this in mind, I pray that you will appreciate a little more the, the following order, a divine order in which Jude introduces God at work. I do believe in divine order. What I mean is our God is not a God of disorder. Do you believe that? He is not a God of chaos. It's the complete opposite. When you begin your Bible, what's the first thing that happens? It says the spirit was hovering over the chaos in the darkness. And God said, it is time to put things in order. That's what he did in my life. I pray that's what he did in your life. When God comes in, he sets things in order. If you're going through chaos, please do not blame it on God. But ask yourself, where is God? Because God brings order, not chaos. And so as Jude is writing the way God works, he put this motion. It says, to, the, to those who are called, then sanctified, then it's there, preserved. I love that. Those who are called, those who have received the call of Jesus Christ. My friends, do you know why we're failing in preaching holiness? Because we are expecting sanctification from people who have not received the call. No wonder we fail. No wonder they fail. No wonder it's not fair. Our job is to begin with step number one. Tell everyone that you have been called by Jesus Christ. When you receive, when you say yes to that call, then you go through sanctification. And as you're being sanctified, your nature, your life, your mentality, your character, Jesus says, do not worry. I have you in the palm of my hands because I'm coming for my church. Called, sanctified, and preserved. After that, he gives one more set of order. He says, mercy, peace, and love. Do you understand that we have this wrong sometimes? That we, we tell people that you don't need mercy, you just have to love. You get it? It's all about love. But I'm here to say, unless God's heart was full of mercy, I had nothing in me worthy of a little bit of love. It was the mercy in God's heart that moved to say, I need to make peace with my creation. The method, love. 
We need to get the order right. Mercy, peace, 